don't know how any deck beats that deck. So we're just gonna we're gonna play some mono green Tron to close out our day. Because this deck makes me stupid happy. The deck's perfect. If you wanna know what the list is, just trust me. Do ranked best of three, why not? Bant's, Bant is gross. Bant is just gross. Jesus. Like, dude, this, 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 like, multi Chandra roasty toasty deck, it's so fun, man. It's so fun. But, like, Uro itself is a real pain. And I feel like against Team of Reclamation, I was getting to the point where I was like, okay, I think we can, I think we can do this. I think we can make this work. I think what gave Bant the extra tip over the top is that Bant now has access to Cultivate, which is the three mana ramp card that lets you find a land onto the battlefield and a land in the deck. Yeah, because Growth Spiral's good. Growth Spiral's super good. Um, and it used to be like Growth Spiral. Like There were a lot of decks that didn't really want to run four Uros, but were kind of, they felt a little bit compelled to run four Uros because it was like the best possible thing to ramp into. I'm not going to block it. Let's just make the food, man. Who are we kidding? Out of green, man. Okie dokie. Alright, bring it on. How the heck do I even want to do this? Yeah, I just think I just play this. Uh, it looks a little weird to send in the Karn's Bastion, but I want to make absolutely sure I leave all this juicy mana back. I mean, if Nissa survives, we just insta-win. Cool. Nice. I meant to put in a third Ugin. Well, don't change anything because I'm a sideboard deck, huh? If I got one of these, maybe put in a third Ugin. I think the ineffable is pretty good. You know, let's run three of them. Comrilin says, I'm thinking that all the decks are going to have to have some number of Spark Hunter Masticores to just not immediately lose. Like, what What is Spark Hunter Masticore? Stop. Alright, mulligan this. We don't have our ramp. That'll, that'll do. I, I only need one Karn. More force the merrier. Ugin? Oh, because I mean, if if you're thinking of Ugin, it does not stop Ugin. Ugin just exiles without targeting. It absolutely gets Ugin'd, which is what makes it such a pain. I should have remembered Duress. It's colorless. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. It's colorless. And Ugin's ultimate is exile all non... Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. Because in my head, I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, let's still be targeted. Bring it on, Anthem Pal. I didn't mean to attack, but, you know, I don't really care. Whoa, I don't even know if that's good. All 
Alright, how do I want to do this? I think we just put the Karn's Bastion since there's no chance of being able to do anything with it. Midnight re -upper. Well, I mean, if we draw Ugin, we immediately win, huh? Isn't that the story of this standard meta? Well, you could have been a different Ugin. Three four is also really nice. Yeah, what you're using these days? Just a good old fashioned basic IKEA one. I didn't make a food because I'm playing at warp speed, and that's fine. Sometimes you gotta play at warp speed to win at warp speed, you know. Both my Herman Miller Aerons have broken, and uh, I'm getting them up and down. Oh no. I cannot cool, I'm winning. See, look, look, look at Mono Green Tron, giving us better success rates, huh? I gotta, I gotta tune something really fast. I really feel like I need the third Ugin. I really feel like I need the third Ugin, man, let me tell you. The third Ugin feels really nice. This, this Bonder's Enclave, I don't think I want as much as a fourth Karn's Bastion, because that is just cool. That is just a cool way to do it. I'm just going to go with three Cultivates here, and then try to put in another Ugin. Big Ugin. Yeah, look at that. We have, we have, we have seven Ugins in this deck. Bad Hygiene says, I have an air on too, but the lack of neck support has been killing me, even though my back feels great. That's the thing. I really like having no neck. Like, the fact that this thing's here, because I'm so tall, it, like, headrests always hit at a really weird height that kind of pushes my back forward. Two answers. Saw the card of you earlier today. Anthem seems to check out as a low-rated card. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't have enough mana to cast Cultivate. Alright, get in there. Look at, look at Sparky doing what I want to do. Alright, we missed. I, I just mentally miscounted. I would have not, I would not have kept this. <laughs> What's happening in this matchup? What's going on? What is this? What am I planning on eating for my birthday dinner? Uh, tacos. You know, let's just try again in the next match. Let's just try again in the next match. We're just gonna give it another go. I think... I think, I think we're gonna figure this out. We've just turned on degeneracy at this point. <laughs> All right. 
This is perfect. League Soups is best of one is a superior format because of the hand smoothing. Yeah, maybe I should just like smash best of one with this. My preference is always best of three, but like, screw it, man. Tyler Callahan, highly recommend mostly walking. I think the dig was really awesome. I think the dig was pretty good. Send in the bird. Best one has hand smoothing. It draws um, draws two hands, and then gives you the one that has a better opening mana distribution, or something like that. Do something. This could be a counter spell, but I no longer care. It's me, Ugin the Ineffable. Who runs that card anyways, man? How embarrassing. Good night, cheesy McDam you. My opponent's gonna think they're safe. King's Quest 6 is a really good playthrough as well. <laughs> one, two, seven. Ah, one short. One short on the Manor Mana. Doesn't even matter at all. I love to see it. Yeah, I mean, having Ugin's is really good. The fact that this guy can just destroy permanents. Mm, feels good. I mean, that feels. It feels right, is how it feels. Feels right. You know, the original game that kicked off mostly walking was. Stand by and watch. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that's fine. Super fine. Super fine. You know what? This thing's dying anyways. Five, six. Now we need five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. We take that kind of damage here. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, how do we do this? We do this first. Point. Truth lies beyond vision. We do like this. So we can tap this for two, and we can like. Uh, it's unclear to me even what I'm doing. I think I, I, I just melted my own brain needlessly. Oh, I did X equals four, but this guy doesn't pop. Creation can be done. I needed to play, do what I did, play the Ugin, then play the Druids. Mine is melting. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just bring that one to the hand. Let's start Karn's bastioning like crazy. The Oog, the Oog and the Ineffables were the right ad. They were the right ad. You jerk. Your quest is futile. Ooh, this this feels really good to play this for two, huh? First things first, get rid of that. Only time will tell. Second thing second, play one of these. Ghost. Third thing, third. Oh, look at that card. The great creator feels good. Take the action. Bam, there it is. Pow. Proliferate at end of turn. This this deck this deck just pops off way hard. This is a fun deck. Who's it gonna be, friend? Who is it gonna be? That Ugin. Okay, you know what? Make him a little bigger. Surprise. You got it. It's all yours. Unreliable variable. Variables. What do you mean by Karn in the sideboard is still good? I know you were debating it yesterday. 
Are you referring to something else? Because, I mean, this guy uh, is not an artifact, so I can't actually get him out of the sideboard. If you mean, like, a Karn with sideboard, do I think that is good? That is something that I actually think is kind of interesting. I think it's actually super worth it. I think so. Oh, my opponent has enough to... Oh, shit, I should have minus five that turn. That was dumb. That was dumb. I'm dumb. It's fine. I really should mash this in best of one. Man, dude, I just feel so disheartened. My internet stuttering, it just, it, like, actually got to me. I'm gonna go ahead and concede and win this in the follow-up match. I'm probably not dead, but I could have easily just gotten to a much better position. Stack doesn't sideboard. Other guy, 726, gift in five. Hoping our day be a little bit more cheerful. This is feel better. <laughs> well, thanks, other guy. You know what? All in all, today's been a good day. All in all, today has been a good day. It's been a good day. Can't lie about that. Let me give this a try. So that has the potential to pop off with a cultivate or uh, with uh, it just has the potential to pop off. I don't need to explain myself to you. <laughs> with a land, there we go. Uh, land off the top one time. Land off the top one time. Is Elder Gargroth worth crafting? No. It's really not. Really not. We are going to hang out for a sec. We are going to hang out for a sec. Croc is Croxa worth crafting? Oh yeah, Croxa is worth freaking crafting for sure, dude. is a good card. So I think I want this to go up two ticks. Oh, yeah, Crocs of Dex are fun as hell. I mean, I know. I mean, I know you had counters. I know you did. really have? Oh, man. Okay, let's do this. No! Okay. Farts. I makeed the mistakey. God, Pharaoh statue sure looks good here. Go 
God Pharaoh statue looks really good. And I have a pair of those too. Also have this blast zone. Apo Koala. Thanks for the birthday wishes, man. Apo Koala is an absolute legend here. 105 month anniversary. 105 months. He's something of an important dude. Gigan? Are you kidding me? Gyrudus showing up here? Did you even hit anything? I mean, okay. Oh shit! I thought I was holding out this one! Oh my god, fuck. My Shit. Than myself. Whatever. Meteors! It's meteor time for day nine. Oh boy, we messed up. Holy shit, Abel Koala kicking the door in with 50 sub gifties. April Qual, your support of this channel has been legendary, and I am always happy. For the support and to see you, my friend. 644 total gifties. April Koala, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this? I'm sitting here being a grompery boy as my internet flickers on and off. Just desperately trying to ramp to something constructive in the game of magic. Jesus. Well, that's good, because we get to draw and we get to block this. Our Boreal Grazer has reach. We use it all the time. Dude, April Koala, how's, how has your 2020 been? How's the whole year been? And then seriously angsty gift in five. Seriously angsty, I'm seriously grateful. And hope you're having a good day. Hope you are having a good one. Take whatever two power thing you want. Take whichever one you want. It says, my wife, level two son, and I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> level two son. Hell yeah. Another time, Alright, well, I was hoping to delay this Ugin a little bit. No sideboarding necessary. Serious things, he says, he tells you goodnight almost every night. He calls you friend nine. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, Naval Koala says, oh well, it's been good actually. We actually had a good 2020. He says, in fact, I feel a bit of guilt about how well it's going considering everything everyone else is going through with COVID. They sent us home, but kept paying us. Took up a lot of lost hobbies. Niece is coming out in a few days to live with me. Starts college in August. Uh, yeah, couldn't be better. Well, I mean, that's... That's fantastic to hear. 
It's like truly, truly, truly fantastic to hear. Oh my god, this is Triumph and Cultivator so good about putting things in the hand. Ah! Nice, 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 nice. Yes, yes. So technically, I can do a lot of things next turn. A lot of options. Moza Red, thanks for the five gifts on our good old birthday. 34 years of age. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, let's go ahead and play a solemn simulacrum. Uberx says this community is so friendly. OMG, you have no idea. This is the best community ever. This is the absolute best. All right, I think that Durantala has plausibly made a fatal mistake. -y. I will aid I think the God Pharaoh statue is yet again going to be really good here. Like, villain can Gairuda, but we don't have anything good. We have, like, Leafkin Druids. God, that's actually so great. You know, I've, I've had kind of a weird 2020, because on one hand, I have had a lot of work stress with all the cancellation of events, and then the massive increase in trying to figure out what the heck any of this stuff can should mean. But, but, I have been able to pretty much continue unscathed in terms of my day-to-day. -day. Is Yorin getting bounced? Oh, that can bounce that lady? Okay, well... Okay. You will not threaten this world. This does nothing to to, to Gairuda, huh? the text on Garuda? Garuda. Does graph diggers page stop Garuda? Garuda doesn't interact with one of these things. Don't remember. Do we have enough mana? No. Does this? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Ley line and exile effects do not. That's right. That's right. I, I always get this stuff wrong. Alright, well this, I mean, this has reach. I think this... doesn't. I think this doesn't do anything. To our opponent's thing. I think this doesn't. But I wanna, I wanna try to see if it does. Yeah, cause Ley Line, cause... Uh, oh, that's right, this won't work for the same reason that Ley Line won't work, is that... It, there's never a stop in between for this. I can't remember what the explanation is.
And Graph Digger's Cage will also stop like our Cultivate from working. Is that correct? Isn't that right? Isn't that something? Isn't that right? Can someone can someone help me out here? Cage only says creatures. Only says creatures. It only says creatures. Okay. Okay. God. The, the, like I I just cannot quite remember what the explanation for the state based nature of that thing is. You know, let's let's just smash best of one with this deck for a little bit. I've optimized it a little bit. I can't remember the explanation for why. Leyland of the Void. Arr. Seriously, Angsty says, had to help my wife, but I had to share. First time my son ever watched the TV, he was like one, was when Day9 played Subnautica. He would jump and cackle every time something scary happened. That was the day he started asking for him. Oh my god, that is so cute! Oh my god. That is absolute joy inducement, man. That is so good. Okay, so we do this, and then we cultivate out this and this. Okay. Leak Soup says, because Garuda says those cards, it doesn't refer to the zone there in. So if the zone is replaced, it still sees the cards. Oh my god, there it is. Oh my god, that, yes. Oh my god. So Leyline is of the Void. Puts him into exile, so it's still with those cards. God, that makes sense. Maybe I just want more green, huh? We're really close to just winning the game, anyways. Like, super close. Powerful grazer. Good grazer. Most excellent grazer. Maybe I should just respond with Ugining. Is Delmar actually seriously trying to mill me? I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pop this. Whoosh whoosh. That's a very good draw. I don't care what this is. My plans do not include you. Get that grazer going. And if you thought I wasn't gonna be playing Ugin, you're wrong. Ugin into Ugin. That'd be funny if this one gets counterspelled. This is this is this is why I play this deck is for this kind of turn. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is my kind of deck. Mass manipulation would get just the Ugin. You got it. I can help you no longer. Ew, kaboom. 
Let's just get a Karn's Bastion and end it, huh? Whew. Close, but no cigar. Now, if I get mass manipulated here, that would actually be so bad and so bad. Every story is an so what does it say? You can't discard. Things can't cause you to sack. No tail and then I win this turn, huh? Okay. Okay, we won this game. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why we play this deck right here, man. Faravax, 82 years, how time passes. I understand that you might be an upcoming character in Peace Talks. Time for me to reread Changes, Ghost Story, Cold Days, and Skin Game. Just got four books to go. We're at 11. This will do, pig. This will do. I may show up. Ooh. Are you as excited as I am? It's like one of the only things I'm like eagerly looking forward to. Plays with Fire says just finished Deadbeat. Seriously, she says I'm on Skin Game right now. Skin Game might be the best book in the whole series. Two books in a year. I'm I'm almost certainly not going to be done with my reading by the time I get my hands on uh, these talks. Cold Dracon says as a Dark Souls player, I'm looking forward to Elden Ring. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. By the way, I have some slick technology in the sideboard for Karn. Skin game made me cry. It's so good. It is a good day to block. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh gosh, I just, I just, I'm still so disappointed that I can't beat Bant Ramp with anything. This can technically beat Bant Ramp because you just ramp harder and then play a huge thing and nuke them. Yeah, I gotta pick up my reading. Reading's the best. We did beat that one Bant Ramper, and that felt good. Zephyrus, you ever played Red Dead Redemption 2? Never. I've played neither of the Red Dead Redemptions. Maybe I should just get one of those and just wander around for a while. Ultimate and killing time. Still acceptably high. This is probably better to have the bigger blocker. So, 
Yeah, this this is gonna be a little pickly. This is gonna be a little pickly. Mm. Yeah, Elden Ring. Is there any clarity as to when that's coming out? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. She awakens from her slumber and immediately wants to be snugged. Oh, you are groggy. You don't even know where you are, huh? But you're happy. And that's what's important. So this looks very much so like an ember cleave. How do I do this? So this, if an Ember Cleave comes down, three damage gets through to Nyssa. If our opponent does not have an Ember Cleave, which seems very unlikely, then this gives us the ability to kill the Robber of the Rich. How rude. This is okay. Now, this is kind of why I put three big Ugans in here, is if I draw a big Ugan, we just win. Seriously, Angsty, I did launch the rocket. I did, and it was beautiful. And it was beautiful. Dude, that factor maybe that's maybe my favorite gaming experience this year. That's good. Victoria is just awesome. I don't know what's going on. Let's just peel a let's just peel a larger Ugin off the top. No. Well, drats. I like all my friends. I will not stop. It's gonna have to be this good old fashioned shadow spear, huh? Still might, still might get there. God, Factoria's just one of the greatest gaming experiences I've ever had. If I got Big Ugin, I just would have minus two'd it and just swept his board and left the Ember, Ember out there. Not exactly a huge threat with no creatures. Just trying to buy time. Villain can't really. What?
Bing bong bang. Do not test to try my patience. Uh oh. Let's just eat a creature. Go to 21. I don't see what could cause this force to die except a second Ember Cleave. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. I didn't fucking play the Karn's Bastion. Fuck, man. <laughs> Crap. I didn't play the Karn's Bastion. I meant to play the Karn's Bastion. I will not lose another friend. Okay, okay. This will let me absorb a little bit more damage. This is kind of funny. Like, the Ember Cleave is out. But it's on the Robber of the Rich, which is not, like, the best target for it. Robber of the Rich is going to have to go here. I'll be able to block almost all the incoming damage. Because this Karn says activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated, this Ember Cleave can't move because it's an activated ability. That would have been a really good one to get, huh? I don't think I have. Thanks. There are greater battles to fight. God, if, it, if it's land, Ugin, that Mr. Grips just owns us. Oh, shit. Well, you can't kill any of my stuff. That's good. Now I can't attack. Which I would have wanted to do. This is like such an interesting game. <laughs> Yeah, this deck is the most resilient to big Ugin deck that I have played because all the lands are colorless and Karn and all the Ugins are colorless. This is all creatures get plus one plus zero? Okay. cards I want. Unemployed Shaku. Gifting the Divine Nine subs on our fine birthday. Power surges through these lands. 
Well, the Shadow Spear is stopping a lot of stuff, which is kind of incredible. All right. Well, let's just let's just treat it like this. We we're getting closer and closer to Ugin by the second. Can you believe it? Nissa's Triumph now gets to go find three land cards at all because our opponent stole a Nissa Planeswalker. It's like these are my combos. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. The thing is, after a few more proliferations, this won't be large enough. Can move now. Great. Really great. I mean, I assume this is like a super incredibly good card, but still. By the way, you like this super slick sideboard choice of the Inquisitive Puppet? What an incredible defender. Oh yeah. To 15. Okay, so... Legend has fallen. Well, we can just draw an Ugin and be done with it, huh? Let's just do that. Let's just draw the big Ugin. Okay. This is a non zero amount of benefit. Fuck this game. <laughs> I'll just play a different one. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, do it at some point. It's okay, I mean, like, look at how cl Look, we went deep against Mono Red due to our life gain capabilities. I mean, that doesn't show you how absolutely exquisite this deck is. I don't know what does. So it looks like we can maybe get a turn three, Nissa. Yeah, I'll block it. Oh, that game was so cool, man. Hope it was a birthday tequila jug. It's vinegar. I just like to drink cold hard vinegar. Well, we have enough blast zones to solve all the necessary problems here, which is pretty hilarious. Be like a wolf spider. Choose to Balaka Laka Laka.
You know what? I'm going to draw my land, and I'm just going to stop streaming. Because my internet's blipping again. <laughs> uh, 